Good morning. We are out here early while it's still cool and got the equipment loaded up last night. We've got the Harley rake, the grapple, the skid, the bucket, and the land plane. Taking it all because it'll be my first time using the Harley rake and I just wanted to bring some other stuff that I'm used to in case I don't really like the Harley rake, but I don't foresee that happening. Let's get plugged in here. And um, like I said, usually before I leave, I just do a quick walkthrough on the trailer, make sure the tires look good, make sure the straps are tight and the ramps are locked in. Main thing we're doing here is regrading this entire backyard here. And there's a hump out there. You can see the receptacle lines installed over here. Mounted dirt here from this new home construction. They want to leave this area level for the pool, so I'm not really going to touch that. These septic uh, lines were mounded up really tall and have settled out. And the mounds were, you know, about two, two and a half foot tall across here. And when I came here yesterday with the mini, I just knocked them down real quick. So that that way they'd be spread out and easier to Harley rake up here. Along this house, where they dug out for the footer, they never backfilled it properly. You can see here, it's lower here by the footer than over here. So I'm gonna add dirt up against the house and probably cut this down a little bit. And that continues all the way around the house. You can see how low it is there. Then there's also a curtain drain going all the way around the whole system. That hump and it goes all the way back to that tree. We gotta knock that down. field and you know it looks like it was installed pretty good until the last 10 or 15 feet here but this part is going up really high so there's a big sag in it right here so I'm gonna cut it off here and dig this out just kind of trench it and daylight it out but I started to cut this open and I figured I'd show what I found in it right next to this big willow tree here All sorts of roots grown to it already.
All right, so that's looking pretty good. That water will flow out much better now than a pipe sticking up in the air. I'll have to do a little shovel work around there. Um, we'll do that when it cools off a bit. Threw some dirt up around here because she wants me to cover up those roots. So uh, smash that down a little bit, hardly rake that up, grade around the roots. And I'm gonna get back to the septic leach field here. And what I need to do here is finish pushing this dirt off of the lines. And when I do that, I only go perpendicular to the lines or diagonal. I don't go along with the lines. That way you're not constantly tracking on them. But once I get finished pushing all that dirt down, I'm gonna push it down this way here because we're kind of flat in this area and then it slopes again. So I just want this to be all one nice, even gentle slope. So water keeps running off of everything instead of pooling up in this flat area. So I'm gonna push all that dirt back down this way. And then once I get it halfway graded off, I'm gonna put the Harley rake on and see what we can do with that.
So here's some of my thoughts on the Harley Rake. Again, this was my first time ever using a Harley Rake, and I used to always use a tiller to till up the ground and break up all the clods and clumps on the back of my tractor, and then I would come through with my land plane and level everything out. And this, I was hoping, would do those two steps in one, and I think it does a really good job at that. Um, you know, you might have to go over the area twice or so, but it, it really does a good job of breaking everything up and leveling at the same time. I think here on this job, you'll see as the day goes on how dusty it gets. Uh, we hadn't had a lot of rain at all in a long time when I did this job, and the ground was really dry. And at, by the end of the day, it was just like I was pushing powder around, so you couldn't really grade all that well. So I think there's a fine line between too wet and too dry when using this. Obviously, if it was too wet, you'd have a, a mud hole you're trying to spin and level. But, um, you know, I think a little bit of moisture here on this job would have really helped out. You know, maybe if I would have came in the morning, uh, you know, the next morning with some dew on the ground or something, maybe that would have helped. But uh, anyway, I think the job ended up fine. It's just maybe would have been a little less dusty on me too. But uh, I would definitely recommend this to anybody looking at buying a Harley rake and I also wanted to note here that this is a six foot Harley rake on an ASV RT40 and it handled the Harley rake just fine now granted it's a fixed Harley it doesn't have the angle or the hydraulic angle so that does cut some weight off the implement but it had no problem handling it uh, either hydraulic wise or weight wise
Ooh, not deep enough. The saw blade didn't go deep enough here to get through the downspout, but somebody taught me that once, just a regular wood blade. I mean, that's, you know, I don't know how many teeth per inch, but a regular ripping blade cuts through these really well. I always thought you needed to have a real fine tip blade to cut through these, but I mean, it's a clean cut. Oh yeah. Thank you. You got all sorts of new tools, geez. <laughs> well, that's my favorite thing to do with that. So. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you had those extension pipes yeah. over there. Yeah, I'll put those. Well, just a little mistake I did here. I thought it'd be nice to bury these lines. And it uh, turns out I did a little Googling, and that's not what you should do. All right, just wrapping up this job here. Got it all finished up. <laughs> Got the backfill along the house. Left the level area for the pool. And all the septic lines are knocked down, leveled out spread out good there was kind of a flat area in here we got some more slope to it to get a fall and drainage got a nice little swale right here for water to run out from this side of the house and the front back filled nice just showing two blocks up front here Filled in some ruts for when they brought the new house in and also some ruts from uh, some deliveries, uh, I guess a block or mason who brought all these uh, concrete blocks routed right up the yard there too. And use the Harley rake up in here a little bit just to grade out some rough spots and ruts that were here alongside the driveway. So that's a wrap on this one. Load it up, headed to the next one.